In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this video right here into an AI masterpiece using Project Runway. Project Runway's Gen 1 beta was something I absolutely had to try out. And I'm going to be showing you guys how you can try out this fantastic piece of technology in absolutely no time. Now, before I do get into anything, though, if you guys could go down and leave a like on this video, it helps it out in the algorithm. Also, subscribing to the channel if you like AI related content, I promise you there are bangers on the horizon so smash that like button smash the subscribe button and let's get right into this tutorial so like i was saying gen 1 of runway if you haven't heard of it which i'd be surprised if you haven't just because of how cool this technology and how it's been blowing up all over social media but with this you'll be able to do video to video generation so you've obviously seen all the photo generations how about video now runway is really doing a fantastic job in being a leader in the industry for video ai they have so many different features other than this gen 1 video to video on runway but that's what we're going to be focusing on today so to get started you're gonna have to have an account and be signed up for their beta i know they're slowly giving out access to everyone and hopefully by the time you're watching this video you will have full access to runway so to start creating you can either go over here where it says beta is available or the gen 1 video to video which is what we're going to be using in today's video now i recorded a video just a couple minutes ago of me fake fighting the air in my unfinished studio that will hopefully i'll be able to show you guys very soon the video is interesting to say the least but i'm just going to upload it we're asked to upload the video and to note it will only be the first five seconds of the video so i did make sure to kind of crop it down in premiere so i think the video altogether is like maybe seven seconds and it's only going to do the first five seconds this is just because it is a beta and it is so you can test out these test out this technology so here we have our video just a little over five seconds and it is of me fake fighting someone the vision i have is that we're going to ai generate some some final boss there at least that's what we hope to within this tutorial now they made it really really user friendly on runway which i really like very simple settings that aren't going to confuse you so let's go over them so we have our style strength right here and this is basically going to factor in how much your video is going to change by the end of the ai generation so i really want to showcase how this technology works so i'm going to make it like extreme I wanted to really alter this video, so we'll set it to like 81%. Now the seed, I'm just going to set to randomize, but if you do want to change the seed to a specific video seed that you want, all you have to do is click that button right there and you will get a custom seed and you can put in whatever seed you want. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do randomize. Now the next thing that you can do is change the styles. And this is the meat and potatoes of this gen one video to video beta. You can either do it by images by presets or by prompts so i'm gonna try out each and every single one in today's video to see which one kind of works best so let's start with the fun one a prompt although i feel like this is probably going to turn out the worst out of the three i have no real experience with doing prompts for video to video generation so i really don't know how to write this prompt out so we're just going to test it here for the first time and see how it goes Alrighty, so i just typed in the prompt i'm a cyborg alien fighting pandas with machine guns in the forest realistic 4k cinema marvel cinematic i have no idea what this is going to generate for me because like i said i've done literally zero testing this is the first time i'm doing this within this tutorial so let's see what it gives us i'm actually curious to see how fast this this generation goes obviously because this video i'd assume it's much longer than image generation but by the looks of it we're already at 22 percent this is going quite fast or at least faster than i would have expected i know i did some testing with deep fake videos like about a year back and it would literally take all night just to generate a okay looking deep fake so now to see this ai technology how fast and advanced it's getting is absolutely insane <coughs> Alrighty, so a little over like two minutes, really not long at all. And this is what we have. I'm excited to watch this play out. Just looking at the thumbnail, I already know this is going to be awful, but I'm just so curious as to what it has given us. Oh my god. <laughs> 
that is an abomination that is just awful so clearly what's happened here is that the ai thought that i was the panda with the machine gun as you can see my hand i have something of a gun but then it turns into a fist but my head is very much a panda and there's all these like red particles flying around the screen i'm not sure why maybe it's something to do with the cinema prompt that i added in but that was an abomination and a complete failure let's try the presets which i believe are going to yield a lot better results so i'm thinking the claymation one i feel like that's probably the coolest out of the presets so let's generate our video with that claymation preset already so about two minutes again for our next video and let's see what it came up with from this thumbnail i'm not having high promises oh my god what is that abomination oh my i look like a one of those things from those mucus commercials i go from having like two eyes to three eyes although the the uppercut it does get the motions in there so a lot better than the first one the uppercut my arm kind of morphs into my body and i don't know why there's all this action going on on the right side of the screen when in the original i purposely recorded on a blank background there are a few more presets we could go through but i'm not going to do that in this video definitely go and try this out after you're done watching the video the last thing we're going to be doing is image assets so they have some demo assets and I really want to try out this cyberpunk. I'm not going to lie. I was going to do my own asset, but this cyberpunk one I feel like would be so sweet. And we're also going to try out a Call of Duty uh, asset. So that should be very interesting. We'll see how that goes. Actually, let's try Let's try the Call of Duty one first. So we're going to generate with that Call of Duty one. I'm going to put the style strength maybe just a bit down uh, to see if we get kind of better performance already. So we got our generation with the call of duty background that i uploaded so let's see how this one kind of looks and honestly okay it still looks so goofy and it is only five seconds but this one isn't as bad i mean you got the you got the kind of that grunge texture on the wall that dirty war texture and my body's definitely decked out like a soldier now i don't know what happened to the face it's probably because the asset i used is the character ghost and he's wearing like a mask so that might have messed it up but yeah i mean i'm i'm not mad about these results i, I don't think they're horrible obviously it's very obviously ai but I'd, I'd rate that that result like a, a 5 out of 10. I mean, I know it's not perfect, but it's definitely pretty good. I've seen obviously way better online. So let's try out this cyberpunk preset asset. I assume those are probably going to be better just because they're the preset ones that Runway gives you. But yeah, I'm definitely not mad with that generation. And keep in mind, this is me like testing all these things out for the first time with you guys. Now, what I found interesting is that there's a bunch more settings on the Runway website, but I didn't really see these in the Gen 1 beta UI. So I assume maybe either A, if you upgrade, you get access to those settings, or B, it's just coming in the full version. I'm not really too sure on that. And while wow, that just answered my question. So if you do upgrade to the pro version, you are going to get some of those settings that are shown here, like changing the weight, having an upscale option, which is going to make your videos that much better. So that is definitely an option. I'll of course have the link to Runway down below if I haven't already mentioned that so you, that you guys can go and test out this software for yourself. And there we have our last generation that we're going to do for this video. It's the cyberpunk one. And honestly, okay, the background looks pretty cool. Obviously, we have our, our, our guy right here doing his little, little karate UFC moves, whatever you want to call it. It's decent, but honestly, my favorite, I think, is the Call of Duty one. I think that turned out probably the best out of all the generations. And yeah, I mean, that's kind of how to use Runway, all the different little tools within the video to video Gen 1 version. I'm really excited to see how this is going to advance and i've seen so many better videos on like twitter of examples with this runway that 
like people have really been using it a lot more than I have obviously creating way cooler stuff so I'll make sure to include some of that in this video but yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to leave a like on it subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one